All right, so the next part we're going to talk about is lighting. This is something that is really important to your photography, but when it comes to your camera kit, you know, I, I would take some time in, in building this up because, you know, for myself personally, I love using ambient lighting. Uh, currently, I have my windows open, I have my hallway open, and it's, you know, it's, it's lighting me. And it's really learning how to control that ambient light. You know, do I pull the shades or do I open one up? You know, what, what are the different things you can do? Um, or maybe you get a bounce. You know, there's plenty of bounces out there, you know, the flex fills that are quite a bit cheaper and you're able to you know, still illuminate your subjects and, and get nice lighting. But learning to control the light is a, is a really big part of photography. Uh, the next step up is sort of getting into remote flashes or maybe if you're in a studio having just consistent light sources that you can use to light your subjects. And you know you can play with the lights within your house and just, you know, just everyday lights out in the world but as you get into controlling the light and using flashes or using you know, different light sources, um, there's a lot of options out there and it really depends on your camera and also how much money you're willing to spend. Um, for the most part, remote flashes are sort of a favorite of photographers that are going out on location. Um, you're able to get really dynamic shots by having multiple flashes all wirelessly connected to your camera so that when you take a picture, you can have light coming from here, light coming from there. Um, and, and you know control how much output they have and all these different things that are really cool but it, it does take a little bit more money and it's something that personally I've just I've never got that into because I like using natural lighting and that's not to say that when I work in the studio that I don't use lights I definitely use lights in the studio uh, but for the most part I use more film type lights just because that's the type of lights I have uh, I just I've never gotten into flash or strobe photography um, but when you get to that level you know I, I would really recommend to start off, rent the flash, rent the lights, you know, get to know how they work, get to know what you can do with them. And as you progress as a photographer, you'll be able to purchase them, you know, sort of build your package out. But make sure it's what you want to use, because even for myself today, I'll go use natural lighting a lot more than I'll go use a lighting kit or, or some sort of strobe setup. So it's, it's a big part of photography, but it's also something to sort of learn and and as you develop your skills, you'll get better and better at using the lighting and know, oh, I love using that light or I love using that flash. And you'll know that that's the right thing for you to go and invest your money in. So that's a little bit about lighting. There's really a lot more to say on it. But if you have any questions, I'm happy to dive a little bit deeper. There's a lot of different types of lights out there, but it's really dependent on what you're trying to do. So feel free to reach out to me. Um, otherwise, we'll be moving on to the next section.